guys this is Rishi Masur and today I'm going to show you how to send email using SPX web form now this is the interface which I have already made to show you a small preview how the system is going to work now let's quickly test this system we are using gmail hosting so we have to pass our gmail credentials that is rishi.p.mashkadar.gmail.com and my password you can write your email address and your password then two so in this case i'm writing my own email address so that we can check this mail in my inbox so you can do any relevant subject and message okay and now you have send this email So our mail has been sent successfully. Let's see in our inbox here. We have received this email, which we have recently sent. Now let's see how this works in backend coding. So this is the HTML coding which I have used to make this web form. Sorry, this web form. And I'm not going in detail how to make this web form because that I already taught in my previous video how to make ASPX web form using Bootstrap so you can learn it from there so to save our time we'll quickly copy this code and paste it in our new web form let's add first of all a new web form go to web form give any relevant name that is email system okay and we are going to copy paste HTML code from our previous form. That is paste it over here. And we'll go over there. ready let's add a button to this web form which will send email so for that we are going to make a division let's give class to this division bootstrap class let's go my margin so Looks good in GUI. Maybe a division twin class to this division. That is column mid pair. And we'll take a button from here. Drop it over here. Let's give ID to this button that is button send and push the class as BPN BPN. the CSS has not been loaded first of all we have to include our bootstrap CSS and that is we are going to copy it from my previous form yeah I am not going to give any kind of title that is mail system or anything now let's go and check whether css is working yes it's working so we have our 
webform interface now using this webform we will send email so let's go and write back and forth name to this button that is sent name okay. let's go in our design double click on this button it will generate a click event inside this click event we are going to write our mail code so to use classes and method of mail we are going to use namespace that is using system dot net and using system dot net dot mail. Now we are ready to use class and method of sending mail. First of all, we are going to make an object of SMTP client. Let's rename SMTP to our object name. SMTP client. Now this SMTP client will take two parameters. First parameter is the host string that is smtp.gmail.com and the other parameter is the port number that is 587 used by this SMTP to send email. Now we are going to use SMTP dot enable secure socket layer let's give it true so that I, it will encode our connection string now we will use smtp dot user default credentials and set it to false because we don't want to use default credentials we are going to pass credentials from this web form so let's pass it false then we are going to view our own credentials that is credentials is equal to new network credential new network credential and it will take two parameter your email address and password so we are taking it from text box that's why we will pass id of our text box that is from dot text connected to text and text password which we are going to pass in our web form and convert it to text okay now we are going to use mail message and let me show you the format of parameters which are taken by mail message we will take first parameter that is from then second parameter that is true third parameter that is subject and the fourth parameter that is body so this is the format in which we will pass our parameter to this mail message method now message and subject new mail message we will pass this now we are going to pass these values from our text box that is text dot from text and text text and text sorry text subject dot text we will convert this to text so it will be converted in a string and will be taken by this mail message as parameter and at last text body the main content of our message that is text and now we are going to use send method as mtp object dot send method will pass this mail object in this method so it will send this mail so it will send this mail to whatever email address which you will write in this text box that is text 2 but it also will append this text subject and text body to the same mail okay. and the 
this is our interface which we have made it HTML coding so this is textbox which will take value from the user and pass it to our backend code that is text form then password then text to and text subject and text body and this is the button which will send this mail to a particular user so let's run it and check our mail system so again I'm going to write my own email address and my password and this view of email address that is again myself and again test email test email system and hello sorry hello yours and we'll send this mail so mail has been sent successfully and let's go and see my inbox whether I received this mail or not here it is so this is the subject test email system and this is the body part hello yours so this is our mail system which we have used to send email in ASPX.NET web form. Now key point is that we are, we are using Gmail hosting so we have to write our Gmail, e Gmail address and password and here we have to write the receiver's email address and again subject and then body part. Thank you for viewing this video and if you like this video then do like and comment in this video and in the next video I'm going to teach you that how to send HTML format in email so this is the plain text but if you want to send HTML that is the head, header and button and a frame in mail then we have to use some more controls so I will teach you in the next video till that have a nice day thank you